Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you a very popular bug from the iOS that is going on nowadays. So what is that actually? Somebody sends you some file from the iMessaging using iCloud service. So when you open that, it's actually a contact file. Uh, I will explain you later what is that. Once you open that file, it will eventually download that contacts to your original contacts application and your complete phone will freeze. So that will happen on your iOS device. So it's there from the back iOS 8. It still persists in the iOS 10, so Apple hasn't patched it yet. Hopefully they will patch it. Now, uh, I have not uh, discovered that bug. Uh, I will put the original video link from where I did watch it. But I'm just going to try that on the Android and already I did have tried it. So the only part that is going affected is your contacts application since this bug is related to the contact. So if you open uh, this content uh, bug file, you can see there's eventually junk of character files, maybe 5000 and more. I guess it's 12,000 files characters. Anyways, so that's so huge that your contact application is not able to read it, not able to parse it, not able to store it. So eventually your contacts application will get freeze. Now how you can get that file uh, by any application which allows to send all kind of file for example. If you take an example WhatsApp, it's not allowing to send you .pcf file because it is not a document like txt .doc. But it may come in the email. So I will show you by email. Somebody sends you a contact. I just renamed file as a hard calls or VIP number. So you try to download it and open it. Then boom, your complete contacts got frozen. So but uh, don't worry, I will show you how to fix it. So let's get started and see what's that bug all about. Alright guys, so here's the one. So I'm just taking an example as mentioned here. If somebody sends you an email, so I've just created a dummy email here. So somebody uh, you got an email like hot girls number or say VIP contact. So um, maybe some of your friends trying to prank with you or just trying to make you know uh, get you annoyed. So he just sent you some VCF file. So that's how the VCF file looks like. So anyways, so if you just click on the download the file here, so your file should uh, got downloaded here and you'll get some information. Now eventually, uh, first let me show you the contact. So I've just created some dummy contacts. Here. These are all the fake contacts just to test it. I just get a lot of email IDs. So everything is working. You can see. I'm able to go to all the contacts everything is working here perfectly fine so if i just go and try to import the contact here you will just click here so it will ask you where to import say i took the google contact information so i show you uh vc will import shortly just keep on importing as you can see it shows some junk number of actually this is the uh, if it is a valid email id it will show you kind of email address it's trying to import but it will show you some random you can see and this is where you can see some rainbow some zero i don't know some kind of electricity some flag is there a flag is zero a rainbow and some rectangular contact information so it hasn't so finishing importing is quick and fine so previously when we opened the contact it was working great so let me just close it again now if i go to contact so first we will say it's taking a bit of time here so it started actually showing the reaction first off it will kind of freezing uh, it won't load the data so if i just click here something is working but eventually i'm not able to see the contacts but it will come anyhow after some time it will come if i go here some setting information import and export uh, i should see some contacts or contacts to display everything here let's see now i'm not able to see it all right so again uh, so you might not be able to access it you can see so behavior is different sometimes i did saw contact but it was not working anyhow so uh, let's do one thing here quickly and if i want to go and make call here if i go to the contacts from here you can see your contact is completely blank you are not able to access anything you can dial stuff but recent contents here but this is empty it's not working and going again to the contacts nothing is here so what we can do let me show you contacts quickly how does it looks like so First off, you need to restart the application. Go to the app section here. This is the contacts. And if I try to uh, close the contact here again, and let's see whether they should uh, work this time or not. So, no working. So, what we can do here again, I'm just going to uh, clear the cache. There is no data use, so the storage wise there. Clearing all the stuff. Now, let's try again. So nothing is working, everything is gone, right? Because that email just have only one contact information that actually wiped out you all the stuff. You can see nothing is here. Now how to fix it? Steps are simple. If I able to visualize it there. So finally, I got the contact back and it's trying to access the location, everything. Three storage permissions were there, but you can see. So uh, 
it's kind of freezing here now once you touch any of the content it will froze so this is what our junk content came if i just click anywhere say i can't touch this content you can see it's uh, screen uh, is a bit dim here display and everything is frozen it's not working at all you can see uh, i can minimize it here uh, everything is work fine just the context is not working if i go again and if i click something here if i try to visualize any content it should display gone you can see that's how it happened now you're not able to access anything else here anyway guys this is how it happens looks like so it takes a bit of time actually there are a lot of junk files here so if i just click any of the contact here say here i want to go so it crashed again so you finally you will not be able to access your contact it's crashing a lot and if i click again touch it touch it touch it so you can see crash so let's fix it first off disconnect your internet go to the setting here all right and here is your option first off go to the account section and immediately disconnect your account syncing just in case uh, you contact maybe go to the google so this is what there your contact sync is off make sure it is turned off internet disabled then after that you can turn on the enable now how to fix it if you try to you know delete it you can think of no i can eventually delete it personally and it should fix so it won't so let me open here and try to show you you can see when if i can get control here so this is the contact if you just try to long press it and get to know delete it delete contact you can see it's crashed let's see whether we have the contact is still there or not so contact is there I will not be able to delete it so let me click on delete again so contact crash again so guys finally we seen that uh, if you this contact came here so your phone dialer will show you contact but again it will be crashing contact straight away is not working so all right guys let's now see how you can fix it so we have disabled the contact thing so that it won't move to the server now you need to download a file first off from going to your the address you should type is contacts.google.com so once you go there uh, google gives you option to import export all the contacts so whatever contacts you are seeing they are all dummy and uh, nothing is working so once you go here there is a more option click on this uh, import and export section so csv file is here so uh, it will take you to the old google contacts from where you can do that so let's go there so that is actually new here so select it here all the contacts and go to the option select all go to the more section you can export it right so it shows you what you want to export so you need to select here all contacts and select as a v card click export so already i have downloaded and try that so it has came so finally it has got download dot vcf now go to the contacts again so you should go to the setting here actually let's the setting came here the settings came and go to this import and export click on import from vcf file that's why i told you to create this vcf file because the only content give you vcf option so you need to select it uh, save imported context too since we have fun first time uh, exported to this google context so we should be going there so import from vcard file and uh, this is what we download just now it's 213 and contact dot vcf is 213 click ok so it will uh, may take a bit of time so what i did figured out so let it be there for at least three to four minutes all right uh, because it's a uh, sometimes it doesn't work i tried for 30 40 minutes it was not working so i am just going to leave it that way then after that you need to reboot your phone so i'm just waiting for two to three minutes for now let it uh, first do something so all right guys it's around three minutes now so it will take a long time so i'm just going to reboot my phone so we'll see after that uh, whether we are able to uh, see our fresh contacts working or not so i'm just going to click here reboot so let it reboot first so we are getting our device back and it's time to see whether we have got our fresh contacts or not so i did that should come here so if i just close everything here if i go to my contacts we can see and we got our fresh contact that old bug was gone so because uh, google replaced that contact and eventually i guess that's bug in google it's taking a lot of bit of time here to importing you know anyways so we got our contact working so guys i hope you guys understand so do not send this prank to any of your friend and if you got such email which claims to be an avc of file do not try to import it to your google so that's it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy this this is Saurabh. i'll catch you next video have a great day